Hey Aries, this is Aqua Moonlight. Thank you so much for tuning back in or welcome if you are new here. So today we're going to go ahead and do your reading. This is going to be what is hidden from you right now that you may not see, you may not know is coming in for you. So I did do a poll last week and this was the one that won. So we're going to go ahead and do this. So let's jump into it. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. If you do want to check out the singles love reading, I did post that on the other channel for Aries. So I'll leave a link for that down below. So what is being hidden from Aries, Spirit, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, and Venus? What's being hidden? We have the Hierophant. Um, I am hearing something with not finished yet. Okay, Six of Swords, not finished yet. So there may be something in your life that's not finished yet. For some of you, it's your growth. It's your spiritual growth. It's your progress that you're making, your evolution. Um, for someone specific, it could also be your education. Something about your education is not you know, over with or you're going to be learning more or going back to school or something's just going to be kind of increasing for you. And I also feel here too, Aries, what's being hidden from you is that there's a lot of opportunity opening for you. The Queen of Cups especially when it comes to your heart, your emotions, your like sensitivities, things that you want to put your intention into, your, you know, your energy into it could be cancer energy. I'm getting here too. four of wands and the page of pentacles. So yeah, see something's not over. Something's returning or something is going to be picking up speed in your life here. And I feel like it's almost like this feeling of things being given back to you. Like if you were feeling less fortunate before the sun, the nine of cups and the star wow so yeah beautiful energy there's a feeling of like getting back on track starting to feel like you're in tune with yourself in tune with the world in tune with your surroundings and i think that what you may not know is that you're on the right track or you may feel wonder sometimes am i on the right track and you definitely are um i'm hearing that you're going to see good news very soon you're going to hear good news so that's part of what you don't see coming could even be a trip of some kind with the six of swords a journey a trip travel with the number 10 here too um something that's going to start or open a new chapter for you okay we have thoughts as well we also have a bouquet could possibly be somebody who wants to reach out to you somebody who wants to um here and check in on you um for some of you what i'm getting is that you could start to have calls or messages from people you haven't heard from for a while for some of you it's almost like they're checking in on you maybe because of your energy has shifted or changed or just simply they want to check in on you there's something coming up about that for sure we also have this crossroads here i'm hearing it doesn't get much better than this so there almost could be like a feeling of a lot of options for you. We have occupation. Could be about your job, your work situation areas. You're going to be feeling more confident in that, feeling better about that, feeling more in tune with what you do for work, what you do for a living. Um, I don't know. I just feel like there's a lot of positive energy coming in to your life. I'm also hearing too, this could be in May. Um, yes, you're highly thought of. You have a lot of admirers. There's a lot of people admiring you. Yep, so a distant friend is thinking about you. So we have this twice coming up. So I am definitely getting that you may have somebody from a distance that you may not know right now, or you may not see this. It's hidden from you, but they're definitely admiring you. This person could be an Aquarius I'm getting as well. Um, and they could be... Um, yeah, and a separate message again about your career or just in general, actually, there's a lot of success coming into your life. You're climbing the ladder, you're moving on up, you're moving forward. And I'm hearing also that this has been um, really tough for you for a while. It's almost like you're, you're like a rhinoceros here. I'm getting like you're plugging through your obstacles, you're plugging through your challenges and whatever you're putting your intention, your focus into is about to pay off really big time for you. Um, even if you've been feeling unclear or muddled with your thinking, it's not going to last forever, especially by May. Um, you're going to be receiving maybe a, flowers from somebody around that time. Some of you, um, there's just a feeling of things picking up around May or starting to come into your life. And you may not see this right now. You may feel a little bit lost, but I think for the most part, you're going to start to feel much more in tune if you have not already. Um, and I keep getting that message that things are being given to you. So it's like you're kind of going to be in a receptive mode and you're going to find that things just start to flow to you. You don't have to work so hard. You don't have to, you know, put yourself out there so much. For those of you who have like a business or you've started something with the Page of Pentacles, it's going to start to grow here really quickly. More clients are coming in. Sales are coming in. Things are coming towards you for sure with this Page of Pentacles. And I feel like you've been deserving this. You've worked really hard on a certain project, a certain endeavor, and it's about to start just like flooding towards you, I feel. Um, as well as what I'm getting. 
We have successful outcome to your problems. Opportunities are waiting for you. We have heartache over what you no longer have. And we have time to get out of a situation. Some of you, like I said before too, I think I said there was something you weren't seeing clearly. I don't remember if I said this in this reading, but there's definitely something about maybe heartbreak that you've been carrying in your heart. Maybe a past connection, somebody who... I'm hearing was not as spiritual as you or was not on the same level as you. The Chariot, the Hierophant, Knight of Swords. Yeah, for some of you, it's like you're being kind of led to a higher path in your love life because somebody was not maybe on your level or on your path. It's almost like I'm being shown that if you're driving a car uh, or a plane or something and then you go this way and they go this way and you're both going down different paths and different wavelengths here. Um, and you may wonder about this person and obviously they're thinking about you. So this could actually be somebody who has been thinking a lot about you recently from a distance and you may not know that that's hidden about this person. Knight of Swords and the Six of Pentacles. See, I said things are coming towards you. Things are coming back to you. Um, somebody could definitely give you a gift here. I'm also getting somebody could travel towards you very unexpectedly. This person will pop up out of the blue. The moon, the empress, the queen of swords. I'm hearing you get what you give. So it's like, again, I think that there's a synergy of, I'm actually kind of getting this ricochet where you may have walked away from certain people or a certain individual. And it's almost like when you're gone, they feel your absence. And when you're not there, that's when they recognize that you're gone. So it's kind of a situation where you have many options. You have many things, you have many options, many you know successes coming into your life, but you also may not see this coming, this person either returning to you or this person wanting to talk with you, but they're coming across a little aggressive. They're coming across like, maybe not aggressive, but they're coming through as like, almost like seeing you walk away or seeing you slip by, see, seeing you slip away. And they almost wanna do something about that. Um, I'm also hearing I told you so secret maybe you told this person something with the moon and it's like it came back to bite them or you knew something was going to happen you knew something was coming yeah I've turned a new page now I'm different now or I've turned a new page now what is hidden from you Aries I keep wanting to say Aquarius five of cups Something about a marriage here too. Five of Cups, the King of Pentacles. Yeah, maybe something about a long-term commitment. Eight of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles. Grows in time. Some of you, this is actually going to be a situation where someone is going to be coming into your life. Could be somebody who's very financially stable, somebody who wants to offer you. I'm not sure if this is a business partner or a love interest. It could be both maybe, or there's just something about um, the time that has gone on is allowing for this person to come in. It might be somebody that you already know, but I'm getting if that's the case, it's almost like there's a change and the complete change in the energy where this person is very solid now. This person knows what they want now, or this person is somebody who um, has learned a lot from where they were before. Yeah, they could be writing you a message for sure. And I feel like this person is very hard to open up. <laughs> Look at that. We have message twice. Yeah, this person is like very hard to open up. They're not opening up completely. They may have been suffering from something else in their life, even financial poverty, or um, there was something that I feel was a secret about this that's going to be revealed to you. This person's going to send you a message or you're going to hear something here. What are you going to hear about them? The Six of Cups, Eight of Cups, that they're not happy. Knight of Wands, Eight of Cups, Six of Cups. This person's maybe not happy where they are right now. And yeah, it's like this nostalgic energy. But with the Queen of Swords and the Empress, I think what you don't know about this is that you are on the upper hand, like, or you have the upper hand in some way. I also feel here too, Aries, what Spirit wants you to know is you're going to start to find solutions to the things that you did not have a solution to before. Uh, Queen of Cups showing again and the Seven of Swords. So whatever you've been kind of avoiding in your emotions or in your heart is going to start to come in for you. You're going to start to have solutions. So let's get a few of these handwritten notes to see what is hidden from Aries specifically. I'm hearing this song, Genie in a Bottle. I don't know why. Maybe some of you have been manifesting something. 
So let's see, what is being hidden from Aries specifically? An offer. Yeah, so somebody's going to offer you two messages. Like I said, for some of you, it could be a business offer as well. Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. Because um, I feel like you're going to be climbing towards success in your career too. But I can also see this being a person around you who's going to want to offer you something. And I'm hearing that you will have a lot to think about. And the reason for this is because either A, you'll know that this person has something deceptive around them if they are if it's a love interest maybe you'll kind of feel that intuitively and they want you to follow your heart and your intuition um, or b you're not going to know if that's the right option for you like maybe it's not really aligned to what you truly want to do for your career something like that it's going to make you question whether or not you want to take it the choice is yours intention so somebody's intentions are is what's hidden here with that seven of swords that's what i kind of feel um I'm almost getting this energy of somebody wanting to almost take something from you or take your light or take your heart almost in a way. It's almost like with the Queen of Cups coming through twice. This is central around your heart, your emotions and what you put out there and how much are you allowing that to be taken. We have <clears throat> sabotage. So this could be somebody who sabotaged a connection or sabotaged things with you, like I said before, and you may not know that this person is sabotaging or they did sabotage things. I'm getting this uh, person who's thinking about you, especially at night when they're alone, um, at nighttime. They feel like they were not honest or they didn't have enough opportunity to tell you what was really going on or how they really felt. We have ungrounded. Yeah, so I do feel like somebody who has been ungrounded here. I will get an advice card for you in just a minute. We have let it go. So yeah, I feel like this is about letting it go. Let's see, what is the advice for Aries? We have concealment cloak. Hmm, this is magic candles. It's almost like a feeling of, what's the advice for Aries? Ten of Wands. It's almost like you're going to be called to something different. It's like your intuition is going to call you or your higher self, the Queen of Cups, is going to tell you something call you to something higher or call you somewhere and you may not see this coming it's almost like i think that you're going to see someone's true intentions you're going to see somebody's true intentions what they're really about what they're really hiding um and you may not know this is coming but it is coming possibly with the message in a few months or so and i think that's with the magic, there's something about like having to use your energy wisely or, or share your resources wisely. What is the advice for Aries? Also be willing to let go. Again, I'm hearing with the Six of Wands. Be willing to let go because what you don't know is that the minute that you let go, it all kind of floods in. All of the abundance, all of the good things come into your life when you let go. It's like I feel Aries, you're being asked to use this. Even for some of you could do candle magic would be really beneficial. But it's like the minute that you use your gifts, use your magic, use your intentions for good rather than focusing it on maybe something else or letting somebody take it from you, that's when all of your abundance is going to come in. Justice, strength, and the Two of Cups in reverse. Yeah, it's like you have a very pivotal decision to make. You'll have a really essential decision to make here in the future. And I really do feel strongly like this is going to give you an indication of maybe two people are meant to part in different directions. That's just what I'm getting. And you may not know this right now, but when it comes in, when you find out, when you have the opportunity to see it and to speak it, that's when you're going to know. This could be on someone's birthday I'm getting as well. This could, yeah, birthday, kind of like birthday candles. Something about a birthday.
But I'm getting also what you don't see coming is that your hard work is paying off. I keep hearing. So we did see that before too, but your hard work is paying off in many more ways than just one. It's like with the justice and the strength card, there's a lot of things that are starting to align for you and certain things that you put work into before within yourself are going to almost like make sense all at once. It's almost like a, like a big culmination of things that start to like, you know, start to be gifted to you or start to come into your life one by one or trickling in. And I think that whatever has been like an injustice before with the Queen of Cups, you seem to be like on the receiving end of the positive part of that now. I'm also hearing once in a lifetime opportunity. So I do want to look at that. The snake. Yeah. So see again, I feel like So some of you actually are going to have something better already in your life. I'm not sure if it's a person, if it's a new job that you're going to have. It's almost like something will come back to try to sabotage it. Yeah, it could be a relationship for some of you. Courtship and change. Yeah, so I think that they want you to stand your ground, keep things to yourself, and know that... Because it's like I said before too, when you move on or when you walk away, then somebody regrets it. Hmm. So I'll leave it there then. So I hope this reading could help Aries. Thanks so much for tuning in. Be sure to check out my other channel for the singles love reading if you'd like to. And I will talk to you next time. Take care. Lots of love.